Hello everyone, it's me Christine again and it feels so weird because it's been so long since I've done a regular nail art tutorial. I've done a lot of random comedic shit recently. Drown them, drown them, drown bitch! You'll have to excuse me, I have to get it out of my system sometimes. Anyways, I'm back with some actual nail art today, so let's get cereal. I'm starting off naked like I usually do, but I quickly wanted to address the break that didn't become a break on the side of my nail. Just over a month ago, I posted a video on how I almost broke my nail, but it didn't actually break. You can go watch that other video if you want to see the horror story. Anyways, what looks like a nail fracture, if that's a thing, has grown out quite a bit right now, but it still hasn't actually split. Like, the nail is not detached where you see that line. It's still completely together. I know, it's really weird. You'll already know what saved my life if you watched my other video. I'm starting off with a peel-off face coat like I do most of the time because I want to save this manicure and put it in my creepy bag, okay? I took notes from you guys and I actually found Wet n Wild's black creme nail polish while I was visiting Florida. When I posted my what's the best black nail polish from a drugstore video, a bunch of you said I should have tried this and so now I'm trying it. And I'm not very excited with what I'm seeing. No, what is this? No matter what color your natural nail, whether it's yellow, white, pink, smurf blue, whatever, you probably want a black polish that covers the nail in one coat. Because it's black, which means it's the darkest shade of all, which means it should be the most opaque. So why aren't you doing your job? It's totally possible that some of you out there have had this polish and it's opaque for you. But that's one of the problems with mass-produced nail polish. Sometimes there's batch inconsistency and I guess I got a shitty batch. Now on to more important things. Rainbows, rainbows, we're gonna do some rainbow nails. I've been wanting to try oil spill slash oil slick nails for a really long time now, but I could not find what the hell to use to put on my nails to make it look like that. And then the unicorns must have spoken to me because I randomly stumbled upon these nail foils called Rainbow Swirl, which I found from like the cheapest nail store ever. I put the link down below. And this is where we take a piss, Charlie. It's a magical rainbow of hope and wonder and urine. You basically just take this roll of foil and cut it up into little pieces that kind of fit your nail, but I seem to be having technical difficulties because I can't even use these scissors correctly. Ah, there we go. Use Russian magical scissors and all your scissor problems are solved. You do not have to cut them up to fit your nail exactly. They can be a bit bigger. You'll see why soon. Next, you're going to need some foil glue. I got mine at the same place I got the foils. Now, I've used foil glue before, but this foil glue is very different because if you look at it very carefully you will see that it has special magical powers or it looks like I'm shining one of those CSI lights that they use to detect sperm on it but I have no such light why does it look like it's radioactive so weird now you need to apply this mystery elixir on your nail very carefully in thin even coats or else it kind of pools at the tip of my nail like you're seeing that I accidentally did when the glue is completely dry it will turn clear and when that happens you can go ahead and press the foil right on don't smoosh it around on your nail, gently press it down once, and oh, what's on my other hand? This is a very strange sighting coming from Simply Nailogical. It's brown shimmer gel polish that was not applied very well. What? All will make sense in a future video. Continue to smooth out the foil around your nail, and if your nails are very curved like mine, then you're gonna have to press around the edges. As you keep pressing it down, you'll see that the plastic part of the foil will start to lift off your nail. When you feel like you've pressed down everywhere, peel back that backing, and and I, I didn't get everywhere. <laughs> you can sort of go back and fill in any spaces that you have missed, but it depends on the end result look you're going for. And in this case, it kind of messed it up a little because it's not the exact same color of oil spill in that location. But I'm not redoing that nail, so let's just try it again on a different nail and see if we get different results. And this time around, I just wanted to show you guys how cool this blue stuff looks. I mean, this white stuff that looks blue over black when it dries. Yeah, look at that time lapse. I'm pretty sure this shit would glow under a black light. Be right back, gotta buy a black light. It just dawned on me that using nail foil for your entire nail is like nail art for lazy people. But hey, I mean, art is art, a foil is a foil, and unicorns are unicorns. Sometimes I make sense in my head. And peel it off and bam, what a shiny motherfucker. I forgot to scrape off the glue before. <laughs> Oops. And that was one of the most easiest nail arts I've ever done on this channel. 
There's actually no orange in the foil, it was just a reflection of the t-shirt I was wearing at the time. But just something to note generally about these kinds of foils is that they look best in indirect light, meaning you don't want to be shining a bulb right on them because then you're going to get these glare patches. See when I angle my nails back a bit and the light isn't shining directly on them, you can see the oil spill pattern more clearly. And now the number one challenge of using nail foils is what top coat can I put over these without ruining them? You know what time it is. It's experiment time. It is time to do experiments. Can I just very quickly say though how frustrating it is to try and angle the paper correctly so that the light's not f***ing everything up? Anyways, I got it. So what I'm showing you right now is trying out a bunch of different glossy top coats. I'm not gonna list every single one I tried because I don't remember. <laughs> but the point of this experiment is to see if any of them don't make the foil crack like you're seeing on the screen. And they're all cracking. I even tried a real gel polish top coat thinking it might be inherently different because of the formula but it still made the foil crack nothing is working must do more experiments another random top coat clear polish but not a top coat yellow stopper which is supposed to be a base coat a regular clear base coat and they all fucked with the foil in their own ways so I decided to try some hollow top coats here's one super dispersed scattered hollow top coat here's a bit more dense hollow top coat and another hollow top coat and as far as I can see it was a bit easier to tell in person than on camera. Every single thing I tried made the foil crack. So basically I gave in and just decided to try yellow stopper on top of the foil because I thought it was kind of cool and it gave it a little bit of a bluish tint. But then on my other nail I thought well let's just try a hollow top coat. I'm using this one and then see how they compare because there's no rule that all your nails need to be done the exact same way. You can see the obvious blue tinge that the yellow stopper gave the nail on my right but I think it looks pretty cool and obviously it would look cooler if I put a hollow top coat on top of that I can't help it it's my hollow sexual tendencies add a final glossy top coat on top of everything because I don't know I just have a habit of doing that to make everything super shiny and this looks badass as f this isn't just an oil spill anymore, it's an oil spill inside a galaxy. Yeah. Even though the combination of top coats and shit I put on top of my nail at the end did make the foil crack, it didn't dull it. It's still very shiny and maybe that's because of the final top coat I put on top, I'm not sure. But I would like to put it out there that if you guys know of a glossy top coat that does not crack foils, please let me know in the comments because I've been really feeling foil nails lately. And on another note, I just want to say thank Thank you guys so much for 500,000 holosexuals. Well, to be fair, maybe not all of you are holosexuals, but if you aren't, then I will surely convert you soon. I do plan on having a massive thank you giveaway, but I'm probably going to coordinate it with my 1 million followers on Instagram whenever that happens. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's probably where I'm going to announce it because it's a little easier to run giveaways that way. But it's going to be great and jam-packed with holo, of course. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!